This video is going to show healthcare providers how to easily prescribe using LifeFile with Southend Pharmacy. Let's begin. Go ahead by starting to log in to your LifeFile account. Once you've logged in, everything that we're going to review in this video is actually located on your home page. We're going to obviously go over how to prescribe in a flash. Everything I go over is listed right here. And if you ever want to check on the status of your orders, that will be covered in a different video. But of course, you can access the uh, directions right here. So let's go ahead and start prescribing. You never really need to select patient here. You can just select Express Rx. And based on this, you will have access to a, either a semaglutide pad, terzepatide pad, or maybe we're going to have some other ones in the future. But in the case of this video, let's just go with semaglutide. If the patient is existing within LifeFile, maybe you're ordering a new prescription for an existing patient or refill, you can easily just search them by typing in their last name. For the purposes of this example, I can just select someone here and you can see that the information already has been filled out. If that is not the case and you need to type somebody in new, go ahead and go right here. Instead of searching for them, fill out all of their information here. Name, date of birth, gender, address, so on and so forth. But for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to choose a patient again. So the information is here. Some of you are going to see this, some of you not. If you work in a clinic that has multiple um, providers, you might have to select a doctor. It, depending on your login, your login might be tied to yourself. You might be a healthcare provider and you won't have to select anything here. But I'm going to just select a, a healthcare provider here. And when we go to the next section, now that the patient and provider have been selected, you get to select your medication. And you can see how easy it is. No longer do you have to select the medication, the directions, the quantity, the day supply, all of that. This has literally been condensed into one click of the button. So depending on what medication regimen you want to choose, you just select that. And now you can go to shipping information. If you want it shipped to the patient, you can click copy patient information. If you want it shipped to your clinic, click copy doctor information. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I do both. If I do that, all it does is it copies the address from here. If I switch it over to copy doctor information, it moves it and selects the address that you see here. Pretty straightforward. And when it comes to payment information, if it is going to be the clinic who is going to be um, paying for the medication, you just like prescriber. If you have a credit card on file already, it, everything will automatically populate. You can actually click billing profiles here and then you hit select. You might have more than one billing profile. Probably you're probably only have one credit card number. Once you hit select, everything is already entered and then you can hit preview. If you don't have a credit card on file or you don't see this billing profile button, obviously, well, then you can actually go and go, go you can actually just manually type in everything here and we can save it on the back end. And that way, moving forward, when it comes to this section, you will see billing profile and you can just select your credit card from the drop down. And that's pretty much it. Once you hit preview, you're going to just see what the prescription looks like. And once you hit submit, you're all done. That is all you need to know. If you ever want to check the status of your order and you want tracking links, just click on order status and you can access that information there. I'll have another video created to review in detail what you can see in order status and what it means. Thank you again.